I want to talk about uh, Jerusalem. Trump made Jerusalem the capital of Israel. See, all those people say that Trump will never be president. See, they was all wrong. Now God want Trump to be in that office to be president. That's why God gave him the that voice and his word to be president. See, another man speak the way Trump speaks. See, that's what these leaders around the world, they're coming against him. And the people around the world are coming against him. And the people in this country and his leaders in this country are coming against him. But God want him to be in that office. That's what I was saying in my other video. If it's time, Trump gonna win. He gonna be president, whether the people like it or not. Because no other man could take the things that that coming against Trump. What the people are saying, lying on him, you know, and, and stuff like that. But God want him to be president, to fulfill his will. That's what a lot of these preachers and prophets do not understand. And they are coming against Trump, speaking against him. The Bible told, tell you not to speak against the leader of thy nation, the leader of thy people. But they do it anyway, because God want Trump to be in that office, to be president. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Because God want to fulfill his will. That's what these people do not understand. You know, God give them that voice and the word that he speaks. That's why he want him in there to fulfill his will. So, and Jerusalem will go into captivity. That's why Trump made Jerusalem the capital of Israel. Now, like in Luke chapter 21, in verse 24, it says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be laid captive. See, they're going to be laid away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentile until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, you see. That's what a lot of people do not understand. Jerusalem, like I said, are going to captivity. You see. And then Jerusalem will be trodden down of the Gentile until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. You know. That's the word of the Lord. And people don't believe that the Jerusalem will go into captivity. But Jerusalem will go into captivity. It's like he went into captivity in the first Babylon. And the first Babylon was 70 years. And this Babylon is going to be three and a half years. They will go into captivity. You see, because of their sin, you know. Most all those nations they promoting homosexuality and stuff, you know, adultery, fornication, or many sins. They're lying, they're doing everything, you know. And God is against all that. That's why I say you gonna punish all nations for their sin. So you can read about it in Isaiah, I think, chapter 13. You're going to punish all nations for their sin. You're going to punish the nation for their sin. Now, you can turn to, uh, I think, Ezekiel chapter 39. Ezekiel chapter 39, it says in verse uh, 23, it says, And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity and for their wickedness because they trans trespass against me therefore I 
uh, therefore hid I my face from them and give them into the hand of their enemies. You see, God give them into the hand of their enemies. You see, so they fell, I mean, so fell they all by the sword. You see, see, they were killed. A lot of them was, was killed. You see. And verse 24 says, according to their uncleanness, according to their transgression, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. You see, therefore, thus said the Lord God, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. You see, God will be jealous for them. That's why he got bring Jerusalem, I mean, the house of Israel back together again. But a lot of them going to be killed before that, you see, because of their sin. And then verse 26 said, after that they have borne their shame and all their trespass, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land. See, see, like now in the past years they've been dwelling safely like in Israel and stuff like that. You know, so a lot of people can't see that. See, any time those nations would come against Israel, Israel would defeat them. Like the, all those Palestinians and all of them become just like in the 1967 war. All those people, all those nations came against Jerusalem, Israel, Israel would defeat them. But you see, in the last three and a half years, they ain't going to be able to defeat them. See, they going to go into captivity. It's like Jerusalem went in the captivity in the first Babylon. See, when God is there with them, no, no nation can defeat them. See, but God say you will hate his face from them. So the enemy will overtake them. See, that's what it's showing here in Ezekiel chapter 39. What I'm reading. Now, I see like in... Uh, See, that's why the Bible said they dwell safely. See, like now they're still dwelling, dwelling safely in their land. Those people be coming against them, but they defeat them. You see, and not make them afraid. See, they can overcome them. And verse 27 said, When I have brought them again from their people and gathered them out of their enemies lame and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. You see, see like I said, they're going to go into captivity before, like, like I said, like right now, they're dwelling like safety, like, you know, but they got to do in the end of the last three and a half years, first three and the last, in the midst of them seven years, they're going to go into captivity when they're going to set up their abomination and make it desolate, and they're going to go into captivity, you see, for three and a half years. But God going to bring them back. A lot of them going to be killed, you know, because they're going to have war in, in Jerusalem. They're going to go into captivity, a lot of them. See? All right. And God will gather them out of all of the land. See, they're going to take them into captivity. That's what you read about, like in Luke chapter 21, verse 24. I'm going to read it to you again. and saying, they shall fall by the aid of the age of the sword and shall be laid away captive into all nations. See, they're going to be laid away captive into all nations. See, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentile until the time of the Gentile be fulfilled. See, they could be led away captive into all nations. 
said, but God will bring them back from all the nations. They was dwelling safely, you know, just like, like now they're still dwelling like safely. And then like nobody can't defeat them now. Until when the Antichrist get here, you know, with them ten horn, then they're gonna come against Jerusalem, can they go defeat, you know, and Jerusalem gonna go into captivity. And verse 28 said, Then shall they know that I am the Lord, their God, which caused them to be laid into captivity. See, God has caused them to be laid into captivity. That's what a lot of people do not understand. I just like God put Trump in that office while he gave him the voice, the word to speak to the people and all these nations, these people from other nations, they are speaking against him, coming against him. But Trump is taking all those slingshots from all those people around the world, from even all those leaders around the world. He's still taking it. And no man could take all that what Trump take. But God has put him there to do that. See? And he gave him the word, what to say, to speak. You know, that's just how it is. You know. And God set up somebody to be leader of a nation, whatever. He's going to be leader, just like God set up Nebuchadnezzar to be leader, to take over Jerusalem in the first Babylon. And nothing nobody else could do about it, because that's what God's doing, to fulfill his will. He wanted to punish his people. You know, just like all those Palestinians are coming against Trump and doing all this stuff as to fulfill God's will. You know, to bring in the Antichrist and all that stuff. But he's that mighty king when God talked about it and uh, Daniel talked about it. I mean, what Daniel talked about it in, in Daniel chapter 11. Like I told you about, that's why I knew Trump was going to win. Because it was time and we put more in homosexuality and all this stuff. That's what I've been trying to tell people. And God don't approve of that. You know, God set Trump up to be king of America, to be president. You know, to take all these slingshots from all the people in his own nation and around the world, and the leaders around the world. God give him that voice, you know, word with to speak. You know, so he can take all that. You know, most men couldn't take all that were Trump taking. Uh, and they say, I'm going to read to you verse 28 again, saying, They shall know, excuse me, <clears throat> and they shall know that I am the Lord, their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them into their own land and have left none of them any, uh, any more there. Verse 29 says, Neither will I hid, neither will I hide my face any more from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, say the Lord God. See? God will not hide his face from them anymore. See? Because he's going to be going into the millennium. You know? That's what a lot of people do not understand. See, God hid his face from Jerusalem, from his people. Because of their transgress, of their sin. That's why God let them go. He caused them to go into captivity. That was God's doing. You know? That's why. It's like that Antichrist, you know, he got to bring them to captivity, but that's God caused them to be, just like in the first Babylon. I, I went over those scriptures in about the first Babylon. You know, God, that one that caused them to go into captivity. See, because of their sin, Jerusalem, they sinned, the people, his people sinned against God. So he called them to go into captivity. That's why he brought Nebuchadnezzar in. 
to bring them to captivity. Same thing like he got bring the Antichrist in the last days to bring them into the captivity. That false prophet. The Antichrist is the false prophet. That's what a lot of people do not understand. These false preachers and prophets do not understand. The false prophet is the Antichrist. And he's causing the people to, to receive the mark of the beast. To bow down to that image, that false prophet. He's the Antichrist. The second beast. Second beast is the false prophet. He called them to receive the mark of the beast and worship that image of the beast. He set up an image in Jerusalem, in the land of Israel, and want everybody to bow down to that image. He was the leader. He had them ten horns. He got with them ten horns, telling them ten horns what to do. You know. But that's what I wanted to bring to you all today. That, you know, God want Trump to be in that office, you know, to be president. So I know Trump was going to be president. But it was time I said Trump was going to be president. And everybody was saying Hillary Clinton going to win and she was going to be president. So it's not time yet. You know, a woman might be president, but after Trump. And Trump probably going to win again, you know, because he got to fight a reign. What a lot of people do not understand. You know, that God wants somebody to be in the office, nothing you can do about it. You know. God putting the people heart who to vote for, you know, and stuff like that. And nothing you can do about it. You know. God putting in people heart, you know, who to vote vote for to fulfill his will. You know. God is in charge of everything. At the end time, he sets up king, he put down, and God want people to kill Trump, they will kill him, you know. And God want them to be in there, they want to, can't do him nothing, you know. And just like with the two witnesses, you know, that beast government could not do them nothing, you know, until they finish their testimony. See, the beast government maybe wanted to try to kill him before because they was tormented you know, by the two witnesses, but they couldn't do him nothing, you know. Because God wanted him to finish their testimony. There's nothing you can do about it. See, that's what I try to tell people, show people, you know, how God do things. There's nothing you can do about it. God wants somebody to be in there, you know. Somebody can try to kill you and stuff like that. But God wants you to remain alive and nothing else people can do to you. Until it's time. You know. Like with Jesus Christ. You know. And when his time come, you know, he was put to death. But if there not, wasn't no time for him to be put to death, so there's nothing that they could do about it. God be in control. But like I said, God put Trump in there to, to make uh, Jerusalem the capital of Israel, you know. But the Palestinians are acting a fool now, but Israel would give probably the, the Palestinians the, the east part of Jerusalem, the capital, but they are acting a fool, you know. There's a lot of people doing that here, like a lot of black doing that here with Trump, acting a fool. You know, then I have no understanding. You know, they would talk to the man, talk to Israel and stuff like that. They would probably could get a peace deal and have half of the Jerusalem over by the east side would be their capital. And, then, and Israel would have the west side for their capital of Jerusalem. You know, they would talk, but that's what probably going to happen in the last days. You know. Because Jerusalem got to go into captivity. They got to surround Jerusalem in the end time. You know. All right, this is what I wanted to bring to y'all today. See, a lot of people are saying that Jerusalem ain't going to never be taken over. You know, I heard a lot of prophets, preachers on TV saying Jerusalem will not be taken over. But according to God's word in the Bible, Jerusalem is going to go into captivity. 
You're reading about it in Psalm chapter 29, that there was bloodshed around Jerusalem. You know, Psalm 79 tells you. you know. But that's all, all that's is prophecy from the, for the end time. That's what I want to bring to y'all today. So, I mean, God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word. God said you got to punish the world for their sin. You know, so everybody got to be punished, even Jerusalem. You know, because people are living in homosexuality and different things. Adultery, fornication, and you know, all that stuff. And God don't approve of all that. So thank you all. May God bless you all.